Hi! In this video I will show you how to make a 3D copy of an object with your phone. I will use a 3DF Zephyr Free Edition. Welcome to my YouTube channel Green Eyed Explorer, where I explore further and beyond. Hi! In my previous video I have shown you how to use Autodesk Recap Photo to make an object copy. See the link in the description below. As there is still a great interest, I decided to show you an alternative, a 3DF Zephyr program. It has some major benefits, free version without time limit, lower prices, many times we get the 3D model faster even though all the computing is done on a local computer. The program even supports NVIDIA hardware acceleration. The only major drawback is 50 input images limitation. Well, let's start! Versions and downloading. First we'll download and install the program. Enter 3DF Zephyr into search engine. It's located on 3dflow.net page. Company offers few different versions. Let's scroll down and see. The free version offers a 50 photos limitation. Others offer more input photos, more GPU support, advanced editing tools and even laser scan support if you have one. Let's get the free version. Now select the closest server and download. Wait for a 153 MB setup file. Execute it. Select language. Accept the agreement. Select the target folder and proceed by clicking next. Check the little box if you want the program to be your default viewer for 3D files. The program. Now start the program. As in my recap video, I will use the same set of photos I have made. The object was a small seashell. All the conversion takes place under workflow menu. Let's start a new project. You can check mask images if you want to manually trim photos beforehand, but it can be done at the end. Click next. Now drag and drop images. A nice feature here is an option to import pictures from video. Click next. Here's a calibration page. It's usually not needed to change anything. You can select category here. Aerial, close range, human body or urban. Urban for buildings, etc. My seashell falls under close range. I'll also choose deep preset. It will make more key points. I want details. Click next and run at the top. This process took 5 minutes on my Intel i3 notebook without NVIDIA graphic card. We end up with sparse point cloud. Here you can see that some of the images weren't used due to errors. Let's spin it a bit. Blue dots in the air are camera positions. If you click one it'll display the corresponding photo. Now let's start the next step under workflow menu. It's a dense point cloud generation. Some info, click next. I'll leave close range and high details. Run the process. This one took almost 30 minutes on my slow notebook. Nice result. I'll water level the shell. Click the little atom or orbit icon at the top. It seems the program made the end object lean. Well, it doesn't matter as the problem is manageable. At the end I'll roughly cut off the underlying book, adjust the plane by dragging it and click the scissors icon at the top menu. The next step in our workflow menu is mesh extraction. Leave the last selection or choose the one you like. I'll leave close range and high details next and run the process. It took 2 minutes. It looks like a real seashell in augmented reality. Now we just need some stinking rotten fish. No wait! The bottom still needs a small cut and a fill to make it perfect. I'll use a plain selection tool and a cut again. Bottom fill will have to wait. So the next step would be textured mesh generation under workflow menu. You can adjust some settings here to make a more detailed end result, 
but mind what the object will be used for. If it is only for printing, we have exaggerated all the way. You can probably leave anything on default. This last step took about 20 seconds. Now all you have to do is to export the object. I'll select .obj file format and open it in Autodesk Mesh Mixer, which I sometimes use for fast object fix-ups. Don't mind the odd looking texture. For error checking I click analysis icon on the left and then auto repair all. I have selected flat fill for holes. You can do the same thing in Zephyr. Go into tools, then mesh filters and choose fill holes selective. Program detects holes. You can see there is only one hole. Click fill selected and we are done. Now export the model. Just for demonstration, here I will show you how it looks before printing. As in the recap program, the Zephyr also makes a 7 times smaller object. If I slice it into .1mm layers, we get most of details. So, if you feel I have contributed to your knowledge, please hit the like button, share video on social media, brainstorm your ideas in the comments below and do subscribe to my channel. You can also buy me a coffee or even support me monthly via Patreon. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.